So the meeting will be in order. The next order of business is uh, question time for Sasquatch. Uh, they can make a presentation up to five minutes and people can ask questions. Lots of rooms. So, 
you know, you should be able to move around and work with the CBD and have it go if you decide that something changes and you want to move around a bit. Um, I assume the con sweep is also in the Davenport. Sorry, I assume the con sweep is also in the Davenport. Um, no, the con sweep is currently scheduled to be in the double tree. Right, both con sweep and staff den will be at the double tree for convenience during the day. Only the parties are currently scheduled, for sure, in the Davenport. And they will not move. I believe so. Uh, con suite, right. Uh, con suite will be keeping later hours like it traditionally does.
when we need overflow, we can go across the street to the Omni. The dates we're bidding are August 16th through 20th, or 2017. Well, we have plenty of other things we've told you before. We think that uh, with five minutes, we should proceed to question time. Any questions for us? How close are you to the subway, public transportation? The metro stop is directly across the street from the well, the, the, the main escalator down is directly across the street. There is an elevator down on the corner of the hotel property. Uh, the station itself is below the hotel. What station? It is the Woodley Park slash Zoo Metro Station because we are actually at the same yeah, right next to the zoo. Uh, it's about two blocks away from us. Uh, we are closer to the zoo Metro stop than the zoo. Renee? Any chance of having passes to the zoo along with our memberships? <laughs> he asked if there are passes to the zoo along with our memberships. Oddly enough, it's a Smithsonian institution, and like all of the Smithsonian institutions, is free to the public. I'd like to mention that the zoo actually opened the grounds, which is over 100 acres, actually opens at 6 a.m. every day. So uh, if you're an early morning person, it's, it's great to walk around and get some exercise. No problem. I believe uh, you're asking how close it is to central DC. Uh, DC is kind of a funny shape, but I think you're asking about the National Mall. It is a mile and a half from the mall or three metro stops. Uh, you mentioned that all of the metro stops have elevators. Yes, all of the metro stops have elevators, they are accessible. Yes, Teresa is pointing out that uh, when, the, when there is a malfunction with those elevators, the Metro will pr provide signage telling you where to get off that is most convenient for you. Elspeth? It doesn't just involve signage and where it's most convenient for you. If it's a distance, they also supply buses to where you are trying to go. Uh, Elspeth is correcting me. She's saying it doesn't provide signage saying uh, where it's convenient, it's saying where to go to get a bus back to uh, it where you want to go. No, it, it okay. says this metro stop and that metro is the closest that has elevator access and if that is any distance from your original stop, they generally provide buses. Okay, they, they, she's saying they provide buses and they give instructions on where to get them. Yes, the, the other buses are actually accessible. <laughs> Elspeth? I'm going to ask two leading questions, sorry. Um, what is the neighborhood like, Warren? Uh, the neighborhood we are in is a largely residential neighborhood. It is wooded. Uh, it is much greener than what you're used to seeing at Worldcon. Uh, the restaurants across the street serve both the hotel and the local residential community, so they remain open on weekends and have nice long evening hours. And many of them have uh, breakfast buffets. Uh, many of them have uh, breakfast buffets and uh, sidewalk seating. It's very Do we have barbecue? Yeah. <laughs> Todd. Where is the nearest supermarket? Back to you on that one, but your son knows. <laughs> <laughs> the, the nearest supermarket is down the hill about a quarter mile at uh, the Hilton. I think the Hilton is a safe way in there. Thank you, John. Yeah. <coughs> I know there's a whole foods not too far from the hotel. A little further down, I guess. And there's a yeah, Safeway two stops up on the metro. Right, the social As people can tell, a lot of us are native to the city and know the area quite well. Time has expired for this Thank presentation. You. <laughs> Our next presentation, uh, at least in the order of the agenda, would be Helsinki.
there's not really an upper end. But the currency is euros. Sorry? Is the currency euros. Oh yes. Euros is what we use. I would like to speculate that approximately for a doodle eighty euros is hundred and ten dollars. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear the question. Just saying that 80 euros is a good Thank you. Uh, so, we're actually kind of running out of time. Are there, is there any critical question? Uh, uh, we should move on to the next question. <laughs> Thank you, Nina. Thank you. So, in Alfred Ward, the next uh, agenda was Japan in 2017. Sarah, presentation. I am a committee member of Nippon in 2017, and I would like to introduce our committee members here. Uh, this is Ms. Hideaki Kawaii, he is a co-chair of our bid, and Tomoki Konama, who is uh, our co-bid chair of our bid. And I would like to also present, um, introduce you the Mr. Yamamoto, he is from Shizuoka City Convention Tourism Board. So we have all the help from Shizuoka Prefecture and Shizuoka City that we are hosting our World Cup. And our dates are August 24th to 28th in 2017. And the location is in Shizuoka Convention and Art Center uh, called Grand Ship. We have a very nice uh, ship shaped convention center which is in all at the right of the foot of the Mount Fuji. So you will be able to see Mount Fuji from Convention Center and we have uh, the conference rooms on the up part of the Convention Center so you can see actually view the lovely views of Mount Fuji from uh, the, the, the conference rooms. Shizuoka is in the center of Japan. It's about one hour ride from the station. And you can reach Tokyo Station from Narita Airport or Haneda Airport. We have two international airports in Tokyo. And from Haneda to Tokyo is about 30 minutes ride by train. And from Narita to Tokyo Station is about one hour ride uh, by train. So it's actually two hours ride or two, one and a half ride from the airport to the convention site. And the foreigners have the privilege to have a JR pass, which is about $100 and it's free for one week, so the, the rates are very good for it. And also, we have in Shizuoka, uh, we have a space education center of JAXA, which is equal, equivalent of NASA in the USA. So there's many space museums, uh, marine science museum, and we also have a modern art museum a very good one with good broaden collection and also with the, uh, Shizuoka is famous for miniature model manufacturer uh, Bandai and Tamiya so you can go to those museums as well and shop your um, cars, mini miniature cars and robots also you, uh, Shizuoka is known for good seafood and they have very best tuna and eel and also a largest fish market, so you can have all the fun with the fish, seafood thing around Shizuoka. Any questions? Yes. Answer. Oh yes. Um, Shizuoka, actually, Grand Ship and Shizuoka City doesn't have a hot spot onsen, but um, the onsen is about. 30 minutes ride by uh, Shinkansen. <coughs> and we do have hotels in Shizuoka with, that have onsen in the hotel. So you can enjoy spa, hot spa, springs in the hotel. Yes? How many restaurants do you have near your convention center? Okay. Thank you. 
the question was how many restaurants were near the commitment center. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, restaurants near the convention center, but we do have a cafe and a restaurant and a lounge inside the convention center. But um, if you go to the next station, it's about a uh, five minutes ride by the train, we have about 100 or more good restaurants, including pubs. Um, they run about 10, every 10 minutes. Uh, sorry, it's about 5 minutes each, um, every 5 minutes. Uh, the last train stops at 11 p.m. and starts from 5 a.m. Any questions? Yes, please. That'll be the last question. Okay. Uh, can you explain your hotel situation? Are you using one large hotel? How close are they to the, uh, to the convention center? Um, unfortunately, there's no accessing hotel near the convention center, but the, most of the hotels are situated, located on uh, the Shizuoka station, which is one stop next to the convention site. And we have about have about 20 hotels around it and we will um, we haven't discussed this about the uh, with the hotel uh, union in Shizuoka city but we will be we will soon be in um, discussion with how we can use the uh, hotels we are there there are hotel union in Shizuoka city and we will be in talks with them soon uh, okay, the time has expired thank you very much for your presentation convention facility for uh, Labor Day weekend should we be awarded the privilege of holding, holding the 75th Volcon. A uh, couple of notes. Our hotels, five of them are directly across the street. We have another um, set that are within two, three blocks. I'm trying to remember all the other questions that went through so we can skip repeating them again. Uh, the nearest grocery store is a five minute walk from the Palais. And we too also sit on top of a metro station. And I'm a little short, so please wave at me so I can see you if you're asking me questions. And I'll take questions now. Ah, yes. Which? Labor Day is the first weekend in September that covers the first Monday. And my brain won't cough up the dates. It's somewhere, I think, um, for 2017 it is. August. I know we have the convention center for August 29th to September 6th. So it's that weekend within it. September 5th, sorry. Ah, um, Elspeth? You get the question out of the way. It's the usual one about airport accessibility. Um, let me clarify a little bit about accessibility. Are you talking mobility about accessibility or transportation? getting in from the airport, of course we have the usual taxis, car services, there is a special 747 bus, which is, it's a, may I? Okay, accessibility to and from the airport from the convention center and the hotels that are around the convention center, it's by car or taxi only 20 minutes. Uh, the fare at this time is about to $40. Now we have a shuttle, a shuttle bus, that is only nine dollars, so which is very good for uh, the low budgets. Um, 
and uh, so very easy to get from the, the airport. And we will have a greeting um, booked there at the airport for the Worldcon uh, event in 17, should we be awarded. And we have uh, many, many direct flights from Europe, uh, to name a few, Paris, London, Madrid, uh, and from the States also. Chicago, New York, Atlanta, <coughs> Dallas. Does that answer your question, Elsa? Yes, and 
Yes, it's the same facilities, but if you were at Communes A in 2002, there was a big gaping hole next to the convention center to one side, and today that is a 22-story Marriott that is our headquarters hotel. There was also a, I'm trying to remember if it was closed or still open at that point, city library in front of the convention center. The city library has since moved, and now there is a large ballroom expansion where the city library used to be. Uh, the downtown restaurant and entertainment scene is much improved from 2002. Uh, you may not see restaurants when you walk out the front door of the convention center and look to your left and look to your right, but if you walk a half block to your left or your right and look, you will see a lot of food. <coughs> What? <laughs> we were, we were, bit, well, we're recovering. What's the hotel price range like? Dave, what's our hotels? About 149. About 149. Uh, we currently have the Hilton and the Marriott, which are attached to the convention center contracted. We are negotiating with additional neighboring hotels for uh, sleeping blocks, uh, and we'll have more detailed information about what's in our block later. But about what size is the hotel blocks or the hotel blocks going to be? Dave, what size are the hotel blocks going to be? The total, we have about 2,000 rooms. Total of 2,000 rooms. My hotel is I knows these things. <laughs> so we have uh, probably a total of about 2,000 rooms in the projected block that we have reserved for the uh, San Jose CDD. Uh, with the Fairmont, I'm oh, sorry, not the Fairmont, we're not using the Fairmont except for sleeping space. No function space, no parties, no nothing like that in the Fairmont, only sleeping rooms. And not all that many. Thank you for clapping for that. <laughs> so we have about 375 rooms reserved in the Mar Marriott and about 300 rooms in the Hilton right now. With a convention center expansion, uh, we have actually a very nice new... Oh, I'm sorry. The question was, would we use the uh, Civic Auditorium across the street for the uh, Hugo's and Masquerade? At this point, that's not planned, as the convention center has expanded. We have a large new ballroom that is um, state-of-the-art. It's you know, very nice, very wonderful. I've been to an event in that. Uh, they also added additional breakout space on the floor below the new ballroom. And so that's where we anticipate uh, using the uh, using for Cuba as a masquerade as the new ballroom that they have there. I was a workmanship judge for Masquerade in the Civic Auditorium. I am intimately familiar with how suboptimal that space is, and we really don't want to use it again. Other than renting a car, what are the transport options from SFO? Oh, a question I love. What are the transport options <coughs> just from SFO, but generally? So, San Francisco Airport, okay, San Jose Airport, is about four miles from our facility, and there is a bus bridge to light rail, which will drop you right in front of the convention center. San Francisco International Airport is about 30 miles away. There is a BART extension that will get you to the Millbrae uh, uh, Caltrain station. The Millbrae Caltrain station will get you about 10 blocks away from our convention center. And if that 10 blocks is something you don't feel like walking, and I wouldn't argue with that. I walk that kind of thing, but not luggage. There is a light rail uh, stop at the main train station, which again, the light rail will drop you right in front of the convention center. And for those of you who are familiar with Carte Orange and Oyster, we have a system called Clipper. So even though you have multiple transit authorities, you can pick up a Clipper card, load it with, load it with cash, and it's a contactless tap-in, tap-out system, so you don't have to buy separate tickets for each of those services. Um, we also have Oakland International Airport um, in Oakland, which is also about 30 miles away. And I believe at that point we should have BART service from Oakland International Airport at least down to uh, Berryessa, where there will be uh, bus service and light rail service. Uh, 
and again, all clipperable. So we have plenty of options to fly in, and we have some, okay, by European standards, pretty awful mass transit, but by American standards, pretty seriously good mass transit, unless you're someone like we say from New York where transit really works. So then, and the other option is we'll be looking at a, a discount through shuttle service, either, uh, uh, we're way over. Okay, thank you. Any other 2018 bidders wish to present? Okay, 2019. 2019 bidders wish to present. Yep. Or answer questions or something. Hi, sir. Sure. Hi, man. Sorry about that. Hello, my name is James Bacon. I'm the uh, bid chair for the Double 2019 Broadcom bid. And uh, I'll probably take any questions if you exist. Look it up. Okay, any questions, please? No questions? Oh, no questions. Okay, questions, go ahead. What's the food like you got? We have some food. Potatoes mostly. <laughs> Shamrock Town is about uh, two and a bit miles from the city centre. It's a Hilton Hotel there. 
Um, and the, 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 what the, the hotel you see next weekend at, at Shamrock will be similar to other hotels that you find in Dublin. Like all the brands are there, there's a, there is a Marriott and a, Sh and a Sheraton, but um, there are more independent brands in Ireland than you would find, say, in London. And that's for the convention centre itself. Yes. Shamrockon is in a hotel, so it's a traditional Irish convention in the hotel. Whereas we're using the Convention Centre Dublin, which is a purpose-built convention centre, which is world-class and it's phenomenal. The access is incredible. There's water from uh, taps rather than from bottles. Um, like everything is uh, the, the greatest thing about the convention centre is the tech is fitted. So when you rent a room, you don't actually rent a room and then have to provide tech. You rent a room and you get a tech service, you get hosts, you get security. You get a floor manager, you get everything you want with the setup. Some things aren't included, like say for instance film and filming with Hugo's and stuff. So we've been negotiating how we have that. And in Ireland, uh, in, in the Convention Centre Dublin is sort of a really super venue for us. That's what's made the difference. So your, your time is... Thanks right. very much, John. Thank you very much. Feel free to ask me any question you like, or we have a team downstairs as well that we have to answer any questions. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.